this tornado's turned into a violent stovepipe. It just hit a house. A lot has changed in the city of Moore in 10 years. 10 years since a tornado more than a mile wide ravaged this city and others for 39 grueling minutes, taking lives and livelihoods. Today, the city is stronger, safer. A model of how to rebuild better. We used to build houses to withstand load only. Mm -hmm. In more, we build houses to withstand vacuum or lift. In 2014, the city became the first in the state to require more stringent building codes. The garage door is a weak point. The garage in a home. door is the weakest point. Now, garage doors for new homes in Moore are reinforced, required to withstand 135 mile per hour winds and EF3 tornado. The whole thing about this code is it's about connectivity. You're connecting the foundation all the way up. The code requires hurricane clips, exterior walls bolted to the foundation, and special stronger nails closer together. You see the difference in the diameter of that nail? Yeah, it's thicker. And it's shorter though. But you see these ridges? Right. That's what's called ring shank. And when that goes in, the wood swells back around it, and it's very difficult to pull out. Home builder Marvin Hayworth was on the committee and more that came up with the 12 new building requirements. Reluctant at first because of added cost, upwards of $3,000. Afraid people wouldn't want to build in more, but that didn't happen. Would you say that more Oklahoma? is one of the safest places now with these stronger building codes when it comes to withstanding tornadoes. The new homes in Moore are the safest homes around, safest homes in the state of Oklahoma when it comes to surviving a tornado. Insurance companies can now offer discounts to homeowners for fortifying their homes like those in Moore. The agency that sets the state's minimum building codes for homes has looked into making them stricter statewide, but ultimately has decided to leave it up to each city, recognizing Moore's code as best practice. And they made changes for schools. As of 2021, all new schools built in Oklahoma are required to have storm shelters. In 2015, the Moore community passed a bond issue to put storm shelters in every school. Today, all but one in the district has a working storm shelter, and that one is almost completed. It's something many local districts made a priority in the last decade, especially in the wake of what happened in Moore in 2013, when an EF5 tornado hit Plaza Towers Elementary Elementary school, killing seven children. Obviously, the the Moore tornado, uh, you know, really brought um, the the importance of storm shelters in schools to the forefront. Neighboring Norman had storm safe areas in schools before 2013, but wanted more protection. You can tell this is this is um, heavy steel, and then the the thickness of these walls. It's it's not your normal uh, sheetrock. Passing a bond proposal four years ago to put FEMA rated shelters in all schools. You have shutters like this and our teachers and, and people that are in these rooms are trained on how to shut them and uh, close them up and lock them so that this room becomes becomes safe. You see the rooms uh, like the one we're in, they're, they're also multi-purpose rooms. This is a music room, so the space doesn't sit empty. Now, Norman Public Schools Superintendent Dr. Nick Miliorino says the district has shelters at all but two schools, and those are currently under construction. After those storms came through, we were extremely busy. After the Moore May 20th tornado, storm shelter demand exploded. We had hundreds of signed contracts within weeks. Andrew Zagorski, the CEO of Oz Safe Rooms in Dell City, says they had three years worth of signed contracts after that storm. On a monolithic structure like this, a one piece structure like this, is it bolted to the ground? Everybody always at, will ask us, what anchors the Oz Safe Rooms? The two smallest rooms we build weigh just under 40,000 pounds. The business boasts the world's safest tornado protection with a one-piece concrete above ground shelter. I pour the floor, the walls, and the ceiling in one continuous pour. The city of Moore says there are three and a half times more registered storm shelters than before May 20th, 2013. The number jumped from 3,100 then to more than 11,000 today.
The term more strong originated in the aftermath of the tornado. It's a city defined by its resilience, stronger today than ever before, and a model for how to come back from the brink to thrive.